Hi Stampers, this is Amy Whalen with Amy's Inklings and today I wanted to share with you one of our new products. It's called the Baker's Box Thinlets Dies and it makes these adorable milk carton like boxes. Um, this one is plain in the front but it has this really nifty um, circle, starburst circle thinlet that you can create windows with which is what I did here so you can see the yummies inside. So these are the dies that come in the um, package. There are a total of nine of them. This little heart here is what I used to cut out the hearts um, on that particular one. And of course they have two of these little label type things. This one says yum. In fact I used yum and the starburst circle there. Um, what it also has are these three options that you can use to make the holes at the top to tie it all together. I personally prefer to use my punch, but do know that these are available for your openings as well. So let me go ahead and get these aside. What you're going to do is you're going to start with two pieces of six inch by six inch cardstock. Now I'm using Blushing Bride today. And what I did to save a little time is I pre-stamped the other side on both pieces of cardstock. Only one is here right now. We're using Barnyard Babies and there's a cute little piggy and I like this saying that says hogs and kisses. So what I did before I filmed, just to save some time, was I went ahead and used the little piggy stamp and I stamped all the way around. Now, if you'll notice, I stamped and I kept twisting my stamp upside down sideways so there is no right way or direction. And that is important when you put these two pieces together to make the box. If you're using stripes, you wouldn't want one stripe side to go this way and the stripes on the other side to go that way. But because I stamped it turning the um, stamp here and there, uh, there is no right or wrong side. So it'll make construction quite easy. All right, so let me go ahead and get the big shot. This is going to shake the table, so I do apologize. All right, we're going to use the magnetic platform. Then you're going to put down one of the plates. And then your cardstock. Now, let me see if you can see this. This thinlet just perfectly fits a six inch by six inch piece of cardstock. And keep in mind, it's this inside line here that what is what actually cuts. All right. So let me put that there. And where's my other plate here? And by the way. We're having some very wicked weather in the Atlanta area today. Sorry for shaking the camera. Um, so you will probably see, that crack crack is normal. You will probably see some lightning and hear some thunder. All right. Let me move these out of the way. All right, so this is what we end up with. See how that just perfectly cut within a six inch by six inch piece of cardstock. Now let's go ahead, actually what you need to do next is to go ahead and punch the circle in. And I did that beforehand too to save some time. So this is the top flap. I knew that the window would go in this particular area. So I sent it through the Big Shot a second time to make that cut out. And we're going to create a window with that in just a moment. But that's been um, folded along the score lines too. Let me get my bone folder. Some of these lines are a little hard to see, particularly in these lighter colored card stocks. So I'm actually folding them backwards, but it's easier to see them, the score lines, from the stamped side. Okay. Did I get them all? Alright, there are there's a little flap here. You need to burnish. And this one here too I missed. And on the other side, there's also another little corner that comes down. Here's the tricky one. There's one here too. It is a little tricky. You want to be able to fold it and burnish it along that score line without creasing the other part of the um, cardstock. And sometimes that's a little difficult. Alright, so what I did was I've already gone ahead 
and I've used fast fuse along these two edges. So we're going to start going ahead and putting these together. You know this is the top for both pieces because that's the this part right here. So let's go ahead and line that up. Okay. And before I do anything else, let me turn this over. We're going to attach a piece of window sheet that I put here because earlier when I was attempting to film this, I could not find this because <laughs> it's clear and I'm starting all over. All right, so that's a piece of window sheet. And our window, this particular piece is two and a quarter inches by two inches. And I'm going to use some glue dots in the corner, corners, to attach this window sheet to the box. Okay, last corner. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, it's going to go in this way. These window sheets are so much fun. Okay, so now look. Boop, window. Cool beans. All right, so let's go ahead, and then we're going to go ahead and finish that side too, again with the fast fuse. Now, the first few times that I made this particular box, I put the whole box together before attaching the window sheet, and that was a little tricky, so I would not recommend that. All right. Okay. So here we go. See how that's going to go like that? Okay, so we still need to put the bottom together. Now let me show you how this goes. These two flaps come together. These cross over one another like that, right? So you see these little flaps that are coming up? We're going to put a little bit of glue on the wrong side. And this time, I'm going to use my Tombow glue. It's a very quick adhesive. It quick it dries quickly rather. And um there we go. It's just a little easier to apply than the fast fuse. So let me put this now upside down. Get my bone folder again to press that to seal it. And we're pretty much done. Uh oh, let's hold that down a little bit longer. Let me press it with my fingers. I can't get my fingers in. There we go. All right. Now remember earlier I said that there were some pieces inside the collection that you can use. You can pass the box through your Big Shot again to make the, the enclosure here, but I find it personally easier to just use my punch. And we're going to make two holes here. Let's see. Line them up best you can like that okay all right so let's put that aside to continue drawing we're going to do a little bit of stamping i'm going to take a piece of whisper white cardstock here's the little piggy stamp again and this time i'm going to stamp it oops hello i'm going to stamp it with stays on because we're going to be coloring it with a marker and that stays on ink is the ink that dries and it's permanent and it won't bleed when you color it with markers. Okay, alrighty, let's color it and this is the um, Blushing Bride marker that matches the cardstock that we're using. That's one of the things I love, one of the many things I love about Stampin' Up! is that our colors are represented in the markers, the inks, and the um, cardstock inks and markers, and so everything coordinates. Now this is our decorative label punch, okay. and voila, I have one here that's perfect because the one I just stamped has a little bit of mark on it. That's okay. So let's go ahead. He is so cute. Let's go ahead and fill this with some Hershey Kisses because again it's hogs and kisses so I thought it would be appropriate to fill it with some Hershey Kisses. I'm going to take some of our 5 eighths of an inch white satin ribbon and we're going to thread that through the holes. Okay. Okay, I'll do this a little different. 
missing. All right, just like that. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now, you know me, I'm not real great with tying bows on camera, but let's see what I can do. Under pressure. Feel like I need music from Jeopardy. Bum, 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 bum. All right, not the best of bows, but for the sake of filming, we're gonna say it's just perfect. So trim that off. It's a little bit short, ladies and gents, but that's just gonna have to do. And then we'll go ahead and use some Tombow glue again to attach this cutie pie. And there you have it. Isn't that adorable? So let me bring in the others again. There's one there. There you go. I think this one's my favorite. It's little, it's little flower candies. They didn't taste really good. My son liked them. <laughs> but I liked the way they coordinated with the flower stamp. So have fun with this. It is such a great little product and you can make so many cute little treats. Thanks so much for coming by Amy's Inklings. I do hope you come again soon. Bye-bye.